All right, guys and gals, today we have yet another Geo 7 right on the heels of the previous Geo 7. This time it came out of a centipede at the arcade. So I was at the arcade working on Sinistar. The Sinistar machine decided to start going belly up and ended up having uh, bad connections on the PCBs, the header pins and the, the single wipe contacts. So I had to just uh, get all that repaired and got the machine up and going. But while I was there, the monitor and centipede decided to die. So <laughs> I saw that the game was running and it played, and but I had no no monitor. Turned it off back on and it came back to life for about three seconds and then shut off again. And now it's totally dead. So I checked the fuses, they're good. We'll check them again here when I get the, the chassis off the tube. But I just want to show you what's going on. So it is powered up. I've got it plugged in the wall. We've got definite voltage getting to the monitor. If I turn it on, one, two, three, nothing. Totally, completely, utterly dead. But both fuses are good. Back off, and yeah, it does nothing. Um, this has been previously rebuilt, just like the one in the previous video. I have five years or six years or so ago when the centipede was getting ready to go on the floor at the arcade before we opened up. I did a cap kit and a flyback and a reflow and everything to it. It's been running you know, very well for the last six years or so, and then it just decided to die. Uh, you know, I even did the new um, horizontal width coil. Everything you normally do to these when they get rebuilt, I did all that, and it ran fine forever, and now it's dead again. So, unlike the previous one that was going into shutdown, at least it powered up, but was going into shutdown, this one does nothing. Both fuses are good, F901, F902, I turn it on, nothing. So, let's get it off the tube and go through it and see if we can figure out what's going on. So I did a little poking around off camera and I think I've already found the problem, but let's go ahead and go through all the various components that should be checked whenever you have a problem like this. Uh, we know from the previous video that if you have one going into shutdown, it could be uh, this cap up here. I believe it was, what, C511? Uh, but in this case, it's definitely not the problem. Uh, so, okay, you have a, a dead G07. First thing we're gonna check is the B plus uh, filter resistor over here, or B plus resistor, I should say. Uh, because it should be 220 ohms. If it reaches 220 ohms, then we can assume our voltage regulator is good, and we read 220 ohms. Perfect. Now to test the voltage regulator itself, we go to the di diode mode, and we put our negative lead in one of the screw holes here, or screw heads, I should say, and then we touch each one of the two uh, pins. There's one with the red wire. We should get a 0.5 voltage drop. 0.536 on the other wire with the brown and white wire that runs off here to the B plus resistor. That should be about 0.18 because we're reading through the resistor. Uh, yep, 0.18. So voltage regulator should be okay. Let's check our horizontal output transistor, this guy over here. Same story, we should uh, put the negative in the screw head and each leg should be about 0.45 voltage drop. Let's go to this leg. 0.461, and then we'll go to this other one, and point, oh, it fell off here, 0.4, gosh, come on, 0.461. So HOT should be good, voltage regulator should be good, B plus resistor should be good. Let's check our uh, R902, this ceramic one down here should be two ohms, and we read 2.1. Now let's check our two resistors, F902, main, that's our main input fuse is good, F901, that's good, so our flyback should be okay, um, and then there's this, I think this is FR902, this fusible resistor right here, let's zoom in a bit, uh, this guy here can open up, if that's open up you'll have problems like this, so we can check, I think it's FR902, FR901, sorry, FR901. Uh, that should be 220 ohms, and we get 218, close enough. Uh, then we have uh, this resistor right here, should be 68 ohms, and it's easier to check on the back side. That is FR401, and if we check that on the back side, we get 67.7. So that's okay, if that opens up, you'll have issues like this. Um, you know, but basically that's about it. Voltage regulator, uh, B plus resistor, F902, or R902 down here, R902, uh, HOT, uh, FR901, FR401, the two fuses. I mean, that's about all you really need to check if it's totally dead. And I've already reflowed this and caps and flyback and everything, so there's no reason to go over any of that. 
I think I found the problem. Now, what I was saying earlier, or alluding to earlier, is the B-plus pot. If we take a good, known, working Geo 7, and we test the B-plus pot for resistance, we go to the right uh, leg and the, the common leg here, we get 111 ohms, 110 ohms, and this is already working and set to 120, uh, 120 volts for B-plus. If we look at the re the, re uh, the variable resistor here, which is what this is, the B-plus pot, we get 110 ohms or so, 109. Uh, but if we go to this one here that's giving us problems, and we do the same thing, the right leg to the common one, we get 160, 163, 164. So it's, it, I think we might have an issue of the B-plus pot is either bad or not adjusted properly. So let's just wipe it back and forth, back and forth uh, to kind of clean up the contacts. Because uh, this is what makes me suspicious of this being the problem is because when I came into the arcade and saw the monitor was dead, I turned it off and turned it back on and it came right back on. And I saw it come on and I was like, oh, well, I wonder why that would have happened. And no sooner did I get done thinking that thought that it died again. So I'm thinking that uh, we simply have just a B plus pot that needs to be cleaned by wiping back and forth. But I don't have any deoxid to spray on there. I'm just going to wipe this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to clean, and clean up the contacts. If these pots sit in one location for years and years without being adjusted, they can develop oxidation on the contacts. And just wiping it back and forth like this can usually fix that up a lot of times. Um, so if we go back here, we want to set this to around 110. Look at that. Boom. 109. And 107. Yeah, let's just leave it right where it's at. And uh, let's hook it back up real quick and see if that fixed it. All right, back on the tube, we got anode, neck, yoke, ground. Uh, we don't need video. We're just checking to make sure it powers up. There's no remote board, and we have power. So that's the 7. We are also set up to read B+. You hook up your positive to this leg of the resistor. That's the regulated side. And negative, of course, just hooks to your frame. Uh, so uh, is my hypothesis correct about the B-plus pot? I don't know. Let's find out. One, two, three. Hachi Machi. Uh, 124. We need to adjust it down to 120. Uh, but there you go. As suspected, as I figured, as I thought, uh, B-plus pot was in a position where it was uh, not set properly, and it was causing it to not even turn on. So let's see if we can adjust this to where we get down to 120. Oh, 119, 120, boom, eh, a little bit more. It's going to change when I get actual video signal on it. So let's put it to right, let's put it right there, 119.7. All right, so now let's give it a video signal and see what we get here. I was absolutely certain that was the problem, especially since it turned on and worked and then shut off again. Um, I was certain that it was an issue with the uh, the pot. I'm going to have to see if I can jumper this somehow. This is going to be fun here. Let me see if I can. I have to get this to jumper in here. I don't know if I can get that to stay. Okay, let's see if... I've said in the last video, the Geo 7, when you give it a JAMA signal, you get off of there. I'll put that back on. Uh, you have to jumper the the sync over to pins 2 and 3, or uh, it won't sync properly. So if we look here, you can see that I have the sync signal, and it came out. You rotten bastard. Uh, let's see. You can see here that I don't have the sync signal transferred between the two. Jumpered over. Got it. I hate working on Geo 7s trying to get the connection hooked up. I need to make a, my own special adapter is what I need to do. But, okay, there we go. So the sync has to jumper across pins 2 and 3. The Geo 7 has separate sync signals, separate sync connections. They're not tied together like any other standard JAMA uh, connection for any other monitor. So the Geo 7, you have to uh, jumper over the, that red wire. You can see I have it jumpered over from pin 3 to pin 2. The Geo 7 is the only one I know of that's like that. So uh, anyway, that's how you have to hook up that video. So now let's turn this on, hook up B-plus back up, and 
Let's see what we get with an actual video signal. Here we go. 120.3. Outstanding. Let's hit the light. And... Boom. Uh, I don't really want to adjust too much because it's going to go right back into the uh, centipede, but let's adjust our vertical hold here. There we go. Yeah, it's lit out of focus. Right about there. Fantastic. Uh, I need to do that H hold adjustment. Let's do that wherever that is. It's right here. And boom. Okay. Not I didn't want like I say I don't want to adjust it too much because it's right now it's set up for centipede, but there you go. Um 119.7. Again, if we probably go to RGB, it'll uh oh I got my inversion colors on. I was working on a different uh project which I'll show you later. Uh but we do have some screen burn from centipede here. Not too bad, but it is present. Um uh, 119.6, it's close enough to 120, we'll leave it right where it's at. But boom, there you go. Only thing wrong with this was B plus pot needed wiped and adjusted and uh, brought it right back to life. So a quick and easy fix, quick and easy fix, easy for me to say. Um, yeah, I'm, I was almost not gonna do a video on this because I was 100% positive that was the issue. But I also wanted to, you know, I thought about it and contemplated it, and I thought, I need to put that information out there. So if you have a G07 that's totally, completely dead, and everything tests okay, uh, I would suggest either replacing the B-plus pot or just wiping it back and forth and setting it back properly to about 110. You saw there, about 110 ohms uh, is about where you want to set it to for a preset, and it ends up being right about 120. So successful repair, um, or... Not really a repair, successful, uh, um, what's the word, resurrection, if you will. Uh, quick and easy. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to take this and put it right back in the centipede machine and be back in business. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.